Pebbles, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a fun video that I had the idea for. Please let me know if this has done, been done before. I've never seen it, but it possibly could have been. So please let me know if I'm wrong so I can credit whoever came up with this idea if it wasn't me. But I had the idea to do Tarot Inception. So one of my favorite things is seeing tarot cards in the tarot cards <laughs> um, or oracle in the oracle so this is for tarot and oracle and basically the premise is to show all of your decks um, the cards that have tarot inception so you see the tarot cards being used on the card <laughs> So yes, um, I am opening opening this up to like divination or magic in general, and I'll show you a few cards with those examples kind of towards the end. But yeah, <laughs> um, I, I just thought this would be really fun to do, even if nobody like replies. I, I don't know, I just love to see tarot readers being represented in the art, and it's just really fun. So the first card I'm going to show you guys. This is from the Fairies Oracle, and the name of the card is Divination. And you can see she actually has the deck out in front of her, which I think it's really fun when decks do that. Um, I have quite a few that do that. So she has like crystals, a crystal ball, she has candles all around her, and she's divining. And it says, embrace your powers of divination, which are especially strong right now. You have the ability to see your current situation with crystal crystal clear clarity so i just think this is a really beautiful image with the fairy there and yeah it's really cool because you can see specific cards from the deck that she's using so that is the first card the second card i'm going to show you guys is from the sacred self-care oracle and this looks like a, to be a group of friends and they're just having fun and doing art and reading tarot and drinking tea and it's really beautiful i like that this one's not called divination it's literally spending time with friends and i love that you can use oracle to spend time with friends and connect with others i think that's really cool and this doesn't look to be the same deck that it's not this deck it looks like they actually have two different decks here um which is really fun and they have like a book and I don't know <laughs> really cute okay next up is from the witch's wisdom oracle and this one is called tarot cards and it's funny because it's an oracle deck and it has a tarot card card <laughs> and it actually shows again the cards in this deck um, and the keyword for this is guidance which I think is really cool So you can like see specific cards in here like we have what is this one cauldron containment homeland foundation chalice fulfillment so you can see a little card just which is really cool i think <laughs> okay next up i have two from the same deck so this one is from these two are from the deck called l key it's the l key oracle um, and L key means she who. So every card is she who blank. So this one is she who avenges. And it looks like there's tarot cards in this kind of falling down. Um, she seems to be maybe possibly doing like a spell to go after somebody because it's uh, she who avenges, revenge, outcomes, justice, and she could be using her cards to find out things about others. Um, but yeah, it kind of reminds me of the Ethereal Visions tarot, like these little cards. This one looks like it has like a big seven on it. And then this one, I don't know if you can see. Yeah, it reminds me of Ethereal Visions. <laughs> so that's really cool. And the next one is actually called She Who Divines. So that's perfect. Future Choice Judgment. 
And this one's really cool because it seems like she has like a playing card and then a tarot card and it says La Mort, so the death card. Um, so it's cool, it has a mixture of like playing card divination as well as tarot represented. So really beautiful. Okay, next up I have, this is from a tarot deck. This is from the Ancestral Path Tarot. And this is the Fool card. And I think this is such a cool way to depict the Fool as a tarot reader. Um, and she actually has this specific deck laid out in front of her. And she's holding the Fool card in her hand. So that's like double tarot inception. Like you keep, keep going and keep going and keep going, you know. Um, so really cool. I love this con concept for the Fool. I think it, it really fits. All right, next up from one of my favorite decks of all time, this is Seasons of the Witch Samhain Oracle, and this card is called Divination, and it says, take a breath, take it twice, insightful reflections are guided by light. And again, she's using the Seasons of the Witch Samhain Oracle in her card reading, and I think this is just a really beautiful image. I love the moon and the candles and the crystal ball again, and she's really stunning, and you can actually see all the cards like I could recognize them I'm just looking you can tell what they are which I think is really cool so that is from that deck okay next up I was actually waiting on this deck to come in so that I can make this video this is from the fantastic menagerie tarot and this is the wheel of fortune card now from what you can see it looks like she's actually using playing cards so I like that you could kind of read this as them playing a game, but it seems more like that she's coming to this woman for her fortune to be read. Um, I mean, she looks like a fortune teller and this person looks like they want some advice. So I think that's really cool. You can see the little cards. By the way, these cards are beautiful. Look at that foiling. <laughs> I'm, I'm so happy to have this in my collection. I'm going to make a video about it eventually. But yeah, I think this is such a magical old world kind of feel. Just fortune telling in the street. Just, just love it. <laughs> All right. So last tarot deck I'm going to, or tarot card I'm going to show that has tarot in it is the High Priestess from the Everyday Witch Tarot. I showed this in my 22 faves as my favorite high priestess. I just think this is really cool. I love that it shows the runes as well as the tarot. And yeah, I, if you wanna see me gush more about this card, you can go watch my 22 faves. Um, but I was trying to make out, tell me if you guys can make out like what these cards are. It's kind of hard, maybe like a two of cups or a lovers. Sorry, I'm looking. This looks like a three of pentacles or a two of pentacles. Um, yeah, let me know if you guys can make out what those cards are. <laughs> it's very obviously not the everyday witch tarot that she's using, but yes, beautiful. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you guys some examples of like some other things you could include. I love just seeing magic being done in the deck or divination in general. So these are two cards from the Forest of Enchantment Tarot. So this is the wise woman or the high priestess. And she is like charm casting, bone casting. She's just using like various items to divine. Like she has little acorns and bones and sticks and all this stuff, feathers. So I think this is really cool. Um, and then we have the two of spells or the two of wands and this person looks like he's using oums and I'm not very familiar with oums but it's like charm casting or casting with pieces of like trees like all of these are different trees being represented so really really cool so I want to see all your decks that have magical stuff like that in them please <laughs> I love to see all the different decks out there and just what 
you know what there is and there's lots of decks that I don't know about and so I would love to see your decks that have tarot inception or have some kind of magic being done in them so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you're interested in getting a personal tarot reading from me I have all of my stuff linked in the description box down below and with that being said I'll see you guys in my next video bye